it's just that we got a new series, and if it takes off, we'll have a jingle for it. Yeah. Um, and it's called Would Andy Do This? It's the sort of yeah, yeah. crackpot thing that I can quite imagine Andy Jacobs doing. And if you ever mm. spot a story anywhere, and you find yourself thinking, that's the sort of thing Andy Jacobs would do, yeah. please send it in to us, uh, <laughs> or alert us to it and where you found it, and we'll try and bring it to you. So let me yeah. kick you off with this one. A man staged his funeral to see how popular he was. It's a bit, it's a wonderful life. Yeah. Uh, Zhang Dixiang, 66. From China. Yeah, well, yeah, from <laughs> Batley. <laughs> built a 2,800 pound road in Balugo village in China's Shandong province, mm. but felt depressed as locals showed him little gratitude. Mm. So he faked his death and was delighted to see more than 40 villagers at his wake. Did they come on that road? <laughs> I think they did. Well, it's, a, it's an easy path to the church. Yeah, that's right. The Unwed Fishmonger, which is, yeah. is a lovely pub. <laughs> they do a lot of craft beers in there. Not now. surprised, is it, really? It's actually unwed. a really good name for a pub, and it's the Unwed, unwed Fishmonger. Fishmonger. Yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. Said the £1,000 <laughs> ceremony made him feel he truly existed. So I could easily see Andy committing. I mean, but I just think it was when he went round to people and say, why didn't you come to my, like the shock of them saying he's not dead, he's still alive. Why didn't you come to my wake? All the things I've oh, done for I, you. I'm going to write them one of my letters. would be a reasonable turnout for, for me. Oh, there'd be a good turnout. But yeah. I'd love to, I just think it's the sort Producer, of thing you'd love. Come, standing at the back. himself away from Watford. I, I, you know, I, I might pop it. I'd pop him for, I'd pop in for the evening. I think I could make the service. I might just show my face and that and have a beer in the unwed fishmonger and clear <laughs> off. You can hold it upstairs in the unwed fishmonger. <laughs> I don't mind. I'd, I'd respect yeah. that. Yeah. I could just come and have a beer and say yeah. cheers, you know. Well, I've all thought. I was might say, all, but give I thought, me right. a call when you're next in London. <laughs> something like that. Um, Simon Day's in. Always good to see That's Simon. Good, yeah. Uh, Russell Howard popping in. Liverpool fan. All top comedians. Yeah, good to see Russell. And Lutz Fanningstill, the fine goalkeeper. Brilliant. Coach and raconteur makes his monthly trip to the studio. So that's us. Thanks for your company all this week. Of course, this afternoon. And uh, don't forget the H and Day Daily. Best H and week. Day. H and Day. Yeah. <laughs> Simon Day. I know. Uh, has nobody told you? That's why he's coming in. It's been a, it's been an absolute pleasure. <laughs> London, give me a phone call. Oh, a drink, no. As a wise man once said. Oh dear. Um, time for uh, the uh, news and sports headlines. But before that, of course, uh, to hear, tell us what's coming up between uh, four and seven. It's uh, Adrian Dunn. Mm. So, uh, yeah. any any news on your tickets for the Champions League? Um, no, I don't think that's going to be happening. Oh, really? I'm not fussed about going, to be honest. I'm not fussed about going at the moment. So, uh, but uh, yeah, just watch it indoors and uh, and crack on. Right. Well, listen, six years has gone quickly, mate. Yeah, I wish you all the very, very, very best. Thank you. Uh, Any time in London, just give me a text, a call, and we're we're out, we're on it. <laughs> Cheers, and uh, we've still got a few things to do together as well, haven't we? Okay, no problem. Thanks. Okay, Ronnie, Ronnie, that's it. <laughs>